Hello, welcome back to the free show, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of HOM 7. This is episode 113. It is time, it is good, it is eager, it is, I don't know, we're, we're fine guys. We're going to get stuff handled and be done with it. We're going to go back into the town. We are pretty close to being able to gather that up, but not quite yet. Like I said, we're close. We are close, but again, we're not quite there just yet. Hmm... Well, there is a few options available to us, but I don't know what I want to do just yet. But at least we now know what those options are. And as it stands right this minute, I can possibly make it to the wood. And that will enable me to do a few different things, which is going to be nice. We're going to come back over here and we are going to get more deuces. That is the play. I know. I'm excited and eager to, well, upgrade to the Frozen Sanctuary. But that's not the play just yet. Soon, though. Possibly. Possibly soon. Alright, in the meantime, Malwin's going to come down here and do whatever it is that Malwin does. Additionally, she's going to come down here and... I'm going to go with Might, though. I think Defense is probably the better play. Okay, well, we can do nothing. Why? Why is this a thing? She's actually got a lot of might, she has no defense. Alright, well, we're going to go with defense. It's a rare and beautiful thing, but it's, well, that's what we're going to roll with here. I'm going to actually hop out onto the wild greenish ocean, I guess, and start gathering up some stuff. Meanwhile, I'm going to head up over here after I do whatever I do in here and tag up all this stuff, claim that, and then be about my business. So, I think we're looking pretty good, guys. We have a fairly solid start. It's the week of the Pixies. Go the pixies and sprites is doubled. Alright, well, so be it. We're going to hop into the water. And we are going to explore as far and as fast as we possibly can. Alright, we are back here in the town that is. We still are not to the point where we need to be there. I figure we can grab that up. Maybe I should have upgraded that. I'm not sure. Well, we're going to snag this next. It shouldn't be a problem. Additionally, what else is not a problem that we should already be doing is we should have a few things available to us. I think four is fine for that. I think that is fine there. I think Solana's Bounty, Elath's Clairvoyance, and the Blessing of Arkath are all important things. Molasses, Temptation, meh. I really couldn't care less. To be honest, it's kind of poopy. It is pretty poopy. So, Solana's Bounty, Elath's Clairvoyance, a Blessing of Akath, and of course, the Instantaneous Recall of Instantaneousness. Alright, and we are going to Blessing of Arkath, our way to victory here. It should give us a, well, definitive edge over all those that oppose us. And stand in opposition, which is kind of the same as opposing us. But hey, you know what? It's fine. Alrighty, we can quick combat this to see what it would do. Yeah, we can probably, more than likely, potentially, possibly do better. We'll have to see. Really depends on what this map has to offer. The way I see it, we should be pretty good to go here. We'll move them up. They're like, we have this itch. We just can't reach it. It is so bad. Please, please stop the itch. Come on forward, masked men. See what happens. That's right. We will kill you all. Or something like that. Alright, one to two of you die. Well, one apparently. And two to five. Let's go with two to five on you. There it is. Troglodytes, troglodytes, troglodytes. I think if we do the full flanking here, we can probably get it. We might even get lucky. Let's see if we get lucky on this. No, oh, we actually got really, really... Not just... Not just... We didn't... Not just that we didn't get lucky, we got super unlucky in the fact that we hit pretty much the bottom end of our damage scope that we could have conceivably have hit there. It was actually quite bad. It's gonna run through you right there casually. It's gonna be sweet, sweet, nice style. And then I think I'm gonna run back through you again. And then I'm pretty sure that you die here. By pretty sure, I mean, yeah, you're dead. Uh, unless, again, we hit the very bottom end of the universe. But I don't see that happening. 
Alright, and now it is time for us to run th Well, you know what? Let's just kill you off. We're gonna hit you with this. I'm gonna be a little bit sad by how that all played out. I could have done it differently, and I chose not to. Also, I didn't attack with him, which is weird. I didn't even think, you know, I'm like, oh, I'll just move him here and then attack. But, you know, you attack and move, you don't move, then attack. Unless you have a Medusa or something on this line. Still, two losses, not that big of a deal. Well worth the trade. Uh, assuming there's a trade in here. Alright, let's just snag up all this wonderful fun stuff laying here. Grab up the bracelet of the free mage. And then we're going to come all the way down and around and over here. It's going to be fine. Sweet, sweet, nice style. We're going to actually return to town. Be all like, what's up? And then we're going to go and we're going to upgrade this. I know, it's painful and unsatisfying, but... It is what it is right now, and I'm okay with that. I would like to get some deuces. In fact, I think I will. And I will throw them into the mix. Probably there. We'll put you here. Is that how this all plays out? Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, it's six of one half, dozen of the other. It's fine. And then I'm going to actually head on over here, tag that up. I know it's probably not needed, but I'm still going to do it anyway. And then we're going to head back this way. Now, ideally, we'd be able to find something here worthy of our endeavors into the watery area. Like some cash monies and gold. That's not very much, though. It's hoping for a tad more than that. Alright, well, might as well cast this on both of our folks. That way we get a little bit of bonus damage out. We'll end our turn, and I think we spent the vast majority of our money right now, which is not ideal. Going to do the quick combat to see... Yeah, I'm fine with that. That is okay with me. And what did we get? We got Shifting Boots of Doom. So there we go. That is pretty much that. Come on down here and start doing some murder-death killing. It is rumored that something... Oh, we don't get to know what it was rumored. Okay, well, it was rumored that something, guys. I'm sorry you're going to have to probably pause and read it, which I plan to do, actually, after this is over. I'm going to actually pause and read when I'm re-watching the video to see what in the world it was that we were supposed to do, and I just wasted my turn by moving back. So that was a double fail on my part. I'm sure you guys have seen more than a couple of double fails thus far. So it should be, well, no surprise to you all. All right, we're going to head back to Tar... whatever, Tarshal, and, well, there's not really much we're going to do, so... We're going to sit here and we're going to store up, hopefully, the... It's going to take us a while. Hopefully the 10,000 that we need to upgrade our deal. We're going to go into battle here, we're going to start it up, and we're going to hopefully be able to murder some fools. I think that would probably make me pretty happy. We'll see if that's actually a thing that happens or not. Alright, I think we're going to actually... Yeah, something like that. Okay, whatever. They can't always charge across the map and kill us, which is never a great thing, so... Be aware of that. I could shoot them if I was so inclined. I would like to wait my turn. Okay, wait. Alright, now are they going to charge all the way or are they going to stop? Of course they're going to have high morale. Why wouldn't they? That's about right, folks. That's about right. Well, given that they didn't have high morale, we would have been able to just kind of walk all over them, but eh, what else? Let them get a few kills. Make them feel more like, you know, they're useful creatures. Alright, there's a shot fired. And a follow-up shot fired. And then I believe this is going to be the killing blow. I mean, they're not really dangerous at it. Oh, and they get that high morale chance, and they're able to actually throw out an attack that we weren't expecting. Eh, it tends to make things a little bit more difficult. Alright, we visited an altar of Shalasa, which hopefully will give us some sort of hand. And the things that we are trying to endeavor to do. Quick combat with this. We should lose anyone. As I say, if we lose someone there, there's something significantly wrong. Alright, Warfare is going to be upon us, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to have to eventually go back and grab up all well, the things that we've left. Alright, the Observatory is going to show us that there is a giant city of doom over here. The Invisible Library. I don't know how to access... Oh, right there. Okay. I do know how to access it. Alright. 
and it looks like there is some gold to be had right here and it looks like there's even a gold mine right there so I'm a big fan of all these things we should actually be able to maybe do some we can probably build a building I think we can get away with that let's see here something cheap something cheap and easy 1600 is a little bit expensive 1500 is somewhat expensive a thousand uh, watchtower, you know what, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the over, well, hold on, we, we might need wood for something. We need to get this handled. Uh, what do we have? Two ore or one? Okay, so we need the black market, that's what we're gonna do. There it is. So that was cheap, I like it, and we still have her to move around and do stuff with. In hopes that, well, we don't get murdered by anything. I'm a little concerned being out here with no army, but... I think it might still end up being okay. Aha! There's stuff to be had over yonder. Alright, I believe the blessings of Shalasa have probably run their course. Or sorry, the Solana's bounty has probably run its course, so we should probably readdress it, is my guess. Okay, well it doesn't really matter that they wiggled a little bit there. Alright, so Solana's bounty is ready and rocking and good. Everybody's moved, everything's being built. We're looking pretty solid at this point. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna snag up this, and then we're gonna go off into the expanse over here. There's a blind maiden that we unfortunately can't quite close with just yet. Quick combat, pretty sure I'm gonna play it manually. Nah. Again, those losses are more than I'd like, but they're not that bad. Being honest, they're. You know, they're mediocre. Mediocre losses. Alright, quick combat with the spider. Should be no losses, and yet there are... Alright, I'm gonna play manually here. Can't let them keep picking me down, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll skip some, but I can't skip all the battles. So, please be aware of that. Alright, there we are. We're ready to go. Gonna move up here, and... I don't know, just randomly shoot. Oh, with a critical hit, you ain't going nowhere. You should be incapacitated. Uh, but you're not because you're undead and you don't have things like that. So, surprise! Totally didn't work. Medusa's power is negated. It's alright. That is more than fine. Alright, let's do 1 to 3 damage to you. We'll do 5 to 11 on you. And you get to come over here and probably end up getting killed. So let's, uh, let's guarantee your success here a little bit. Blam! What? That's right. Alright, we'll move you there. Pretty sure... Ah, uh, we have the chance. Let's go for it. I'm feeling lucky. Yeah! Our luck did not run out. And easy kill here. That was it. That was an easy victory. And the gold mine hopefully goes to me. It does. I didn't have to plunder it or anything, which I'm a big fan of. And we're just short of where we want to be. However, there is a very, very good thing right now that is known as, you guessed it, the trading market here. If we sell 10, we will get the 500 we need in order to build the capital building. Yay for capital building! Alright, I am slightly sad because we're not going to have enough to get everything that we need to get the next couple of units, but that's okay. We're close. Alright, we end our turn once again. We move down here, snagging up some wood. And getting closer to snagging up some ore. I guess we tag the Blind Maiden and continue our little adventure into deeper water. Oh gosh! And then we run like a scared little girl. Because that guy can totally catch us. And we cannot teleport. Well, that's a bit awkward. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Uh, how many troops do you have? It's a somewhat large amount of troops. We don't have a whole lot that we can recruit either, which is a bit sad. Well, I mean, it's possible that we're going to be able to utilize instant reinforcements. Oh, we don't have a town portal. That's 
That's excellent. Well, that's that's good for us. All right, let's see if we just lost the map or hold on. Is it the next day? It is the next day. And where is the town portal? We need two crystal. I think we can make that a reality. I think we can do just fine on that front. Let's go 38 wood, get ourselves one additional crystal, and that should be it. To get the town portal. Which then should allow her to utilize the town portal recall thing. And we're safe. We are safe. Unfortunately, our ship is stranded out there now. That is the downside. So we're going to have to build or buy or do something to a new ship. Because the current one we have is, well, you guessed it, stuck there. Unless, unless we're able to somehow recall it back. So that's a bit unfortunate. Just a little bit. Still, I don't think it's the end of the world here. Alright, we're going to end our turn. Again, that wasn't ideal, but hey, you know what? It worked out. And it looks like the enemy vessel did not come forward like I was expecting. Which, yeah, that's that's good. It's a good thing. Alright, I'm fidgeting in my chair, readdressing my situation, and murdering fools all at the same time. Gaining a little bit more magic, hopefully getting away without a loss. I think we're going to lose a couple here. Yep, that's fine. Alright, a little bit more gold going our way. A little bit more here, a little bit more there. There's a Dragon Utopia that I have no desire for. Mysterious Crypt I don't care so much about. And you know what? Ah, we're going to do the Mysterious Crypt anyway. Why? Because we can. And because we care. Alright, well, I'm going to send her over there in a moment's time. We're going to get some Minotaur all ready to go. And there we have it. And she is going to go over here and chill. She's going to be ready. We've already visited that. Did we visit this already? I believe we have. And we visited that, yes, of course. Alright, Solana's Bounty. We're going to cast once again. Solana's Bounty one more time over here. And they are bountying it up both times. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, we're going to end our turn. It's going to be a new week. The Week of the Ancients. A week where strange lights can be spotted in Ashan's night sky and crop circles appear in the fields. Nice. I loves me a good crop circle. I do. Alright, let's start the combat because, you know, if we let them do the combat on their own, they're going to be dumb. We're going to lose, like, just about everyone, so... Why even waste our time with the whole scenario instead of just going straight out and murder? Alright, we're gonna spam wait and allow them to come to us, and then we will slaughter them. So basically, folks, what I am going to do is I'm going to finish up this episode, do one more, then I'm gonna go cook lunch for the old wife, and it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna have lunch. It's gonna be delicious because, of course, I cook only the most delicious of foods. And yeah, and then I'm going to come back and hopefully be able to do a couple more recordings by, well, the end of the day before dinner, and then this evening, I got a lot more planned. I'm, the dog being sick put me far behind, but that's okay, because you guys love me, and it's all good in the hood. Alright, we're going to go here, and we're going to do hopeful murder-killing death stuff on you. And indeed I did. I'm going to roll the dice and say, Full flanking superpower, go! Yeah, I was right. The full flanking superpower did go, and we were victorious. 2,322 off the grid, and victory is ours. Another wonderful, wonderful level up. I will take that, and what do we have? 20 initiative to the hero's warfare units, 100% uh, health, or the towers always shoot. I think I'm going to go with the initiative. Like that's going to be the play. There we go. And let's go see what's available here. Hey, Dwarven Spalders. Is that even worth it? Probably. Sure, plus five leadership. I can take that. We just took a 20 hit on leadership, but yeah, you know, that's, that's okay. The seal is locked, didn't I? Seal of Malasa didn't. Isn't that what I found, or... Oh, I found the one of Shilasa. <sighs> Alright, well then I suppose I need to head back over to town, which I can do with an instant recall. And then I can do stuff from here.
onward. It's going to be nice. I'm going to recruit or upgrade these guys so I can actually upgrade. Yay for having the right troops for once. I'm a superhero-ish. Alright, additionally we want you. A few of you, anyway. Take that on. You are going to tag this up. I have no idea what I'm going to do with you necessarily, but you do exist, and that's kind of important. Alright, we don't have enough to build that yet, but we will! Why? Because I said so. Alright. Uh, what are we do? We're going to get rid of some of the wood. There it is. And now if we were actually able to, we can build ourselves a ship, or a boat, if you will. And that's that for this turn, folks. So I'm going to end it, and then we're probably going to do two to three more turns, and then break it off. Really depends on how quickly the turns transpire. I just kind of messed up a little bit there. I'm sure you guys all noticed it. It doesn't matter. We were going to have to come back anyway. We weren't going to be able to make it all the way. All right, we're going to upgrade you folks. That is going to allow me to get you guys fully powered up and ready to go. And I can finish off you. And I can even get a Minotaur or two. Nope, no Minotaur. Alright, seven more assassins. I like it. Or shooty pew pew killing machines. It's fine. Alright. Malwin, you can back up a good madam. And not only can you back up, you can also cast a spell. As can you, good sir. End our turn. We can come down here and snag up this. And then I guess I'll go and I'll kill that group of guys because I can and I, I guess I want to. Let's see what quick combat does for me. I think it's going to be a little detrimental. Alright, we'll play it manually. I think we can do better. I could totally be wrong. I don't know for sure. We're going to assume that I can do better. But you know what they say about assumptions. They really, really suck when you're wrong. That's right. That's, that's exactly what they say about it. No? Okay. Alright, gonna move here. I'm going to hopefully take you completely out. I think I will. In fact, I did. Alright, and then we just have to wait for you guys to come a little bit closer. Waddling on in all angry and just, like, I don't know. Silly with your glowing purple swords. Like, it's gonna make any difference whatsoever when we just roll over you guys like nothing. Yeah. I said it. What? Alright, pretty good chance we kill all of them here. Or just under it. 57, not bad. Oh, they retaliated anyway. I feel like we got cheated there somehow. The creature is not alive and has no morale. It cannot be healed, resurrected, is immune to poison, mind effects, fear, blah, 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 blah. So I guess that's the thing. So I guess confusion doesn't work, right? Because that's a mind effect. Alright, well, hey, lesson learned, right? I should have known this by now, I'm sure, but, eh. I generally fail at knowing the things I'm supposed to, so, eh, it is what it is. Alright, you guys are covered for now. I shall do more damage to you and make you weep more openly. I shall slay you as well. Murder. And then I'm just going to walk right through you and kill off eight. Why? Because I can. That's pretty much it. That is literally the size of it. We're going to move up a little bit more. We're going to take a nice pot shot at you. And, yeah, we're going to go here and get that kill. Um, pretty much guaranteed, so let's go for it. Man. All right, the victory is ours, and it looks like the weird helmet is ours, though I don't really care for the helmet. Oh, there's quite a bunch of random stuff laying out and around and whatnot. Eh, so be it. So be it. All right, we have a few folks we can upgrade here. Additionally, we can start building up this, get our Shadow Steel production up and running. Then we can get our Strider Forge going. It's going to be nice. It's going to be good. Alright, let's go back here and... Yay for Strider Forge of Doom! It's, it's good. It's really good. Alright, meanwhile... Do I even care? 
Pretty sure I have better than that already. In fact, I do. I don't care at all. None whatsoever. Alright, I'm hoping that nothing comes this way to murder me. It's possible that they will, but I'm going to hope that that's not the case. I'm going to head on down here, and I'm going to look for that fight that we skirted earlier. And if we can find a place to land, which it looks like we... Maybe not. Might be able to actually accomplish something. There's no way to be sure. Alright, folks, I'm going to send out... This is going to be my last turn before I break off the episode. The Blind Maiden is real. And it looks like there is some stuff in the water to be had, which is also real. There's also a whirlpool, which sucks, by the way. I am not a fan of whirlpools. There is other various things, and again, it looks like we will probably be able to somehow take over this town, which I am looking forward to, well, quite a lot, actually. I'm going to go back here, and of course, we are going to build up the extra Minotaur building. And that gives us everything except this. Now we have the choice of the Hydras or the Shadow Dragons. I'm probably leaning toward the Shadow Dragons. Now the Hydras have their uses, but I, I think the Shadow Dragons are just going to be better. Also, they're dragons, so there's that. In case you guys were wondering. There is that. Alright, I'm ending the turn, and that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! I know, I'm a hero, right? Go on, go on, stop with your flattery, shower me with your honest praise, come on, no, it's fine, guys. Anyway, I'll be back in just a bit with the next episode, and hopefully I manage to catch up by end of week. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff coming out, like, right around December 1st, December 2nd, I'm trying to get everything done, there's still stuff on the back burner from before that I received that I haven't done a first look video of or any coverage of yet, so there's still a lot of stuff I'm trying to work through and get through, plus I'm still trying to advance all the other series that's a lot, guys. It's a lot. But you're all with me for it, and I'm happy about that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Yeah.